the male gamete with white leaves were taken okay so male gamete was from white leaves and the female was from green leaves but the ultimate result was green hello everyone my name is kushmeet kaur and i am going to take your botany optional Today we are going to discuss a PYQ from the Botany Mains paper and that is write a note on cytoplasmic inheritance. So today we are going to discuss about cytoplasmic inheritance. Okay. So let's start. First, let's understand that what do you mean by inheritance? When we use the word inheritance, we mean that something which is being transmitted from parents to progeny, right? And we know when we talk about inheritance, generally we talk about chromosomal inheritance. In a cell, in the nucleus, the DNA is present and that DNA is transmitted from generation to generation. But there is another form of inheritance which is known as cytoplasmic inheritance. What I am trying to say is, if this is my cell, Okay, inside this cell, I know I have a nucleus and inside this particular nucleus, I have my DNA. Now, after reproduction, this DNA is being transmitted to the progeny, right? But what about the cytoplasm? What about the things which are present in cytoplasm? We know for a matter of fact that in cytoplasm, we have two important organelles and that are mitochondria and chloroplast. Both these organelles are known as semi-autonomous organelles. Why they are called so? Because they have DNA of its own. Similarly, there are some genes also which are present in cytoplasm. So what about that? Is the cytoplasm inherited or not? Of course it is inherited. If I take the example here, for example, this is my male cell, okay? And this is the genetic material. This is my female gamete and this is the genetic material. Okay, now when reproduction occurs, when they fuse together, what is formed? We have the proper division of the chromosomal DNA. That means this particular zygote is going to get one chromosome from the male and one from the female. But what about the cytoplasm? This zygote will get cytoplasm from which parent? Okay, only from one parent. There is no division of cytoplasm that half cytoplasm from male and half from female. That is not the case. Okay, in this case, the cytoplasm will be transmitted from one parent only. That is why cytoplasmic inheritance is a uniparental inheritance. That means the genes of only one parent, the cytoplasm of only one parent is transmitted. Okay, so you can write it here that your cytoplasmic inheritance is your uniparental inheritance, first of all. And mostly, in most cases, that uniparent, that one parent is the female only. Okay, the female uh, cytoplasm is mostly transported into the zygote. Okay, what else uh, uh, other than the uniparental? You can say other than being uniparental, it is your extra chromosomal inheritance. Extra chromosomal inheritance. Okay, so I hope you are able to understand what we have studied. We have studied about cytoplasmic inheritance. That means the inheritance of cytoplasm. We have studied that it is not chromosomal inheritance. Rather, it is extra chromosomal inheritance. And other than that, it is uniparental. That means the cytoplasm of only one parent will be transmitted. Because there is no mechanism of division of cytoplasm of half male and half female. Okay, now this can also be of two types. When I talk about types of cytoplasmic inheritance, mainly two types I am going to talk about. The first type is known as your organeller inheritance. And the second type is your maternal inheritance or maternal affect. Okay, first I would like to talk about the organelle inheritance. As I have already told you, we have two organelles which have DNA of its own, that is mitochondria and chloroplast. 
द माइटोकॉन्ड्रियल डी एन ए इज नोन एज एम टी डी एन ए एंड द क्लोरोप्लास डी एन ए इज नोन एज द सी पी डी एन ए ओके सो दे आर ऑल्सो केपेबल ऑफ प्रोड्यूसिंग जीन्स एंड थिंग्स विच कैन बी ट्रांसमिटेड सो फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द ऑर्गेनल इनहेरिटेंस थ्रू द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ क्लोरोप्लास्ट ओके और प्लास्ट आई कैन से सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द ऑर्गेनल इनहेरिटेंस and we will take the example of plastids or i can say chloroplast okay so we are going to take the example of plastids and this was found by carl kerin in 904 okay he saw this kind of inheritance pattern in mirabis jalapa which was also known as which is also known as your four o'clock plant to study the inheritance pattern he took the variegated variety of plant what is this variegated variety i'll tell you okay this variegated uh, variety means that the same plant is going to have some leaves which are green some leaves which are white and some leaves which are of variegated variety that means they are going to have green pigment also and white also like this so what i have that means same plant is going to have white leaves also green leaves also as well as variegated leaf also i'll draw the diagram for you and you will understand more theek okay? hai so he took this plant why you will understand so let's make a plant okay let's make three branches to bifurcate okay let's assume that this particular branch has green leaf okay and uh, the branch here has white leaves and this branch here has variegated what do you mean by variegated variegated means that white and green ka mixture like this variegated variety this is the variegated variety and this plant is also a variegated plant why variegated plant because it has all kind of leaves variegated plant kyu hai ye because it has on one branch it has green leaves on one branch it has white leaves and on one branch it has variegated variety of leaves okay so let's start by understanding let's take this plant as a female plant theek hai so let's take this branch first theek hai ab is branch mein kya hai green leaves now male gamete lete hain hum let's assume the first male gamete is taken from the plant which which had green leaves only okay which had green leaves male gamete i'm talking about okay this is my female plant this will produce female gamete okay if i fuse the female plant having the green leaf with the male plant which having which is having green leaf then the answer is very very obvious that it is going to produce a zygote which is going to have the green leaves right now the second case was taken in the second case the male gamete with white leaves were taken okay so male gamete was from white leaves and this female was from green leaves but the ultimate result was green leaf the zygote the new plant which came had green leaves only okay now let's take the third case also the third case was variegated leaf plant from the male and when it fused with the female green plant again the result was green leaf only that means no matter no matter the plant or uh, the male gamete was uh, from the green leaf plant or white leaf plant or variegated leaf plant the result of their fusion was always green theek hai similarly similarly in this case also in this case also this female plant was fused with the male plant having green leaf the one second one having white leaf the third one having variegated leaf in all these three cases 
द जाइगोट विच इज प्रोड्यूस्ड हार्ड वाइट लीफ प्लम ठीक है द थर्ड केस वॉज ऑल्सो सिमिलर द फर्स्ट वन वॉज फ्रॉम ग्रीन द मेल गेम इट वॉज टेकन फ्रॉम द प्लांट हैविंग ग्रीन लीव द सेकेंड वन फ्रॉम द वाइट लीव एंड द थर्ड वन वॉज फ्रॉम द वेरीगेटेड वेराइटी लीव all these three whenever they were produced sorry reproduced with the uh, variegated variety the result of the zygote was variegated only so as you can see this particular pattern whatever is happening here the female is dictating the phenotype of the zygote okay whether the male is coming from the green leaves white leaves or variegated one doesn't matter what is the phenotype of female is resulting the female uh, phenotype of your Uh, zygote okay so you can the make the table here also you can make the table also like this mm, you can write here about the male why it is not getting cloned wait i'll draw another one okay let's take this is female females phenotype males phenotype and zygote or new plant theek hai when the female was white that means having white leaves no matter the male was white variegated or green also all these three types resulted in what resulted in the white phenotype of the plant second case in second case also if the female plant is green no matter the male was white green or variegated in all these three cases in all these three cases my zygote will be same as the phenotype of my female the third case where it was variegated white green or variegated in all three cases in all three cases my zygote will be same as that of female which is very gated so by this particular table and by this particular experiment we can infer that the phenotype of zygote was directly dependent upon the phenotype of the female why is it so actually what happened is that in this case uh the chloroplast the plastid i would say the plastid was developed from proplastid and the gene which was responsible for the production of this plastid was in cytoplasm so when it was producing proplastid if the plastid is producing normal plastids then it will be normal and green in color the leaves will be green in color but if it has some mutation then it will not be green in color chlorophyll will not be produced either leucoplast will be produced having no pigment so that is why the leaves were white the second case the mediocre case in which it is not completely normal or completely mutated in that case variegated variety was produced okay so that is why we can say the phenotype of the plant or the leaves was dependent upon the production of plastid and plastids are found in cytoplasm that is why this is the example of organal uh, cytoplasmic inheritance okay and it is uniparental as you can see only the female was affecting the phenotype okay now the second type that we are going to cover is very very crucial which is your maternal inheritance or maternal affect okay very important just have to be very careful while understanding it i hope when i use the word phenotype and genotype you know when i say phenotype that means the physical characters and genotype will be what i will be writing here theek hai the genes which are regulating the phenotype so in this maternal inheritance what happens is basically suppose this is the cell and it has nucleus theek hai now nucleus in nucleus basically the proteins are being made and they are being transported in the cytoplasm basically dna from mrna these steps are done in the nucleus only but when the protein is made it is transferred to cytoplasm because it needs ribosome for protein synthesis right so here if the nucleus sorry from the nucleus your protein came in the cytoplasm theek okay? hai now this protein is being inherited it is not present in any organelle not in mitochondria not in chloroplast 
but this particular protein is being transmitted. So this will be causing your maternal effect or maternal inheritance. Okay, because it is present in the cytoplasm, we call it as cytoplasmic inheritance. Okay, so let's get into it. For understanding this, we have to take the example of just wait. Uh, coiling in snail. It is a very classic example. Okay, two types of coiling patterns are seen in snail. If you have seen snail, there is a particular coiling pattern. Okay, so two types of coiling pattern are seen. First is the clockwise pattern and second one is the anti-clockwise pattern. Okay, what are these? See, clockwise simply means that I say this is clockwise. This clockwise pattern is termed as dextral style of coiling, dextral slide. Okay, so you can remember it that this uh, clockwise pattern is actually your dextral. Okay. And if it is anti not clockwise, but anti clockwise, something like this. If it is, sorry, sorry. If it is anti clockwise, okay, then it is known as sinistral. So, two types of coiling pattern can be seen dextral and sinistral. Dextral. D for dextral, D for dominant. Dextral is dominant over sinistral. If I use the particular allele sign here, so you can represent it like this. Dextral is repre represented by S plus. And the sign for your sinistral is S. This S plus is dominant over this S which is recessive. That means if I have this genotype, if I have for example S plus and S plus, so dextral will be formed, dextral coiling will be formed. If I have S plus and S, because this in heterozygous condition, heterozygous means two different pair of alleles are present. Okay, in this condition, the S plus is dominant over the S, so again dextral will be formed. Okay, if I have small s and small s, then sinistral will be formed. Okay, so these will be the cases. To understand the intricacies, we are going to form a cross now. Okay, let's take, I hope uh, you know this now. So now let's get into the cross. In this we have S plus, S plus male. That means we have a dextral male. Okay, this male is crossed with, this male is crossed with a female and that female is the natural. That is, she is just S and S. When I am going to fuse them together, what I will get? I will get something like this. It will produce S plus and S plus. Two gametes. Here also gametes will be fused. Produced. These are gametes. So, my F1 will have what? My F1 will have S plus. Like if I just do this like this. S plus S. S plus S, S plus S and S plus S. Like all my uh, F1 generation produced are S plus S. So if I technically see it, S plus S, if I see this genotype, I know this is a dextral type because S plus is dominant over S. But, but, but the thing in this particular maternal effect or maternal inheritance is that in the case of your maternal effect or maternal inheritance, the phenotype of the zygote, listen to me very, very carefully. The phenotype of zygote is dependent upon the genotype of the mother. Let's write it, then I'll make you understand. Okay, very important statement. You just have to memorize it. The phenotype of a zygote or progeny will be dependent upon genotype of mother. That means no matter what is the genotype of zygote, it does not matter. The phenotype will be guided by the mother. Now carefully listen. If I see the phenotype of the genotype of the mother, what is the genotype of the mother? The genotype of the mother is small s, small s. Small s, small s means sinistral, right? 
So no matter that all these are S plus S plus, their genotype will play no role because their mother is sinistral. That is why all these progenies are going to be sinistral. Though they have a genotype to become dextral, but that does not control their inheritance. That does not control their uh, phenotype. Okay, the phenotype of these particular uh, zygotes or generation is controlled by the female because their mother, mother kya thi? The mother was sinistral. The mother's genotype is sinistral. So that is why all the progeny, this all progeny, no matter what is the genotype, farak nahi badta. जो मर्जी जीनोटाइप हो इनका मदर ही डिसाइड करेगी अगर मदर का जीनोटाइप सेनेस्ट्रल है तो सेनेस्ट्रल होगा मदर का जीनोटाइप सेनेस्ट्रल नहीं है डेक्स्ट्रल है तो डेक्स्ट्रल होगा इन दिस केस माय मदर इज सेनेस्ट्रल सो ऑल दिस एफ वन जनरेशन आर गोइंग टू बी सेनेस्ट्रल ठीक है ऑल दिस आर गोइंग टू बी सेनेस्ट्रल टू अंडरस्टैंड इट वन स्टेप अहेड वॉट की वी कैन डू वी कैन क्रॉस एफ वन विद एफ वन लेट्स डू इट we can cross f1 into f1 that means what we are trying to do we are just crossing s plus s male with s plus s female okay let's cross us what will be the gametes gamete will be s plus and s yahan pe bhi s plus and s these will be the gametes so my progeny will be somewhat like this s plus s plus S plus S, S plus S, and S S. ठीक है. If this was Mendel's case, what I will say Mendel का case है, तो ये तीनों के और dominant होते ही recessive होता. लेकिन maternal inheritance में तो Mendel के laws follow होते ही नहीं हैं. There is no space for Mendelian laws. ठीक है. So what I am going to do again, I am going to see the genotype of the mother. Forget about what is the genotype of progeny. Let's see the genotype of mother. Mother is S plus S, mother is S plus S. This type of genotype results in dextral type. So just close your eyes and write that all these progeny are going to be dextral. All these progeny are going to be dextral. Now you will say, ma'am, mother was an estral by phenotype, but I specifically wrote here. The phenotype of zygote will be dependent upon genotype of mother. Genotype. What are the genes present? What are the alleles present? That will dictate the phenotype of the zygote. In this case, the mother's genotype is S, small s, small s, which is sinistral. So all the progeny were sinistral. Okay. In this case, though the mother was sinistral herself, but her genotype was dextral. So that is why all the progeny, all the progeny in the F2 generation will be dextral. ठीक है नाउ अंडरस्टैंड इट फॉर एग्जांपल इफ शी इज द मदर एंड शी विल नाउ फ्यूज विद अनदर पर्सन एंड प्रोड्यूस प्रोजेनी दिस टाइप ऑफ मदर हु जीनो टाइप इज डेक्स्ट्रल विल प्रोड्यूस ऑल द डेक्स्ट्रल जाइगोट्स ठीक है दिस मदर जीनो टाइप इज आल्सो डेक्स्ट्रल सो ऑल द प्रोजेनी प्रोड्यूस बाय दिस मदर विल बी डेक्स्ट्रल दिस मदर इज आल्सो डेक्स्ट्रल सो दैट इज व्हाई ऑल द प्रोजेनी विल बी प्रोड्यूस्ड डेक्स्ट्रल इन फीनोटाइप But this mother is again sinistral. So no matter what will be the genotype of the progeny, this mother will always, always, always produce sinistral type of sinistral type of progeny. Okay. So what was maternal inheritance? Maternal inheritance is the one in which the phenotype of the progeny is directly dependent upon the genotype. No matter how was our male, male se farak nahi padta. ठीक है बच्चों का जीनोटाइप क्या आया है उससे फर्क नहीं पड़ता वट एवर इज द जीनो टाइप ऑफ द फीमेल दैट इज गोइंग टू डिक्टेट द फीनो टाइप ऑफ द साइकोट यूनिपेरेंटल है साइटोप्लाजम से आई है मेटरनल गवर्न कर रही है दैट इज वाई इट इज नोन एज मेटरनल अफेक्ट और मेटरनल इनहेरिटेंस ठीक है आई होप इट इज क्लियर वॉट इज साइटोप्लाजमिक इनहेरिटेंस हाउ इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम क्रोमोजोमल इनहेरिटेंस वॉट आर बींग ट्रांसमिटेड इन साइटोप्लाजम इनहेरिटेंस इधर इट कैन बी फ्रॉम द ऑर्गेनल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू or it can be through your uh, site, genes present in the cytoplasm in the organelles we studied about plastids about the mirabis jalapa example in which uh, your plastids uh, whatever the phenotype was female was transmitted to your progeny also like females phenotype is equal to the progeny's uh, phenotype right but in this case theek hai we are completely ignoring the genotype we have no issue with the genotype 
ठीक है जस्ट द फीमेल जीनोटाइप इज डिक्टेटिंग ऑल द फीनोटाइप ऑफ द गिवन प्रोचेनी ठीक है आई होप दिस इज क्लियर ओके थैंक यू सो मच फॉर दिस या दैट इज फॉर टूडे थैंक यू